This NGO in Taipei normally helps the nearly 90,000 Filipino migrant workers in Taiwan with employment and other issues, but in recent days it's been turned into a packing house as donations pour in for typhoon victims. Now today, several of the migrant workers have come here to help put clothes, food and medicine into these boxes so that they can be shipped to the disaster-stricken areas as soon as possible. But many of them have no idea what the fate of the family members are. And even those who do don't know if they have enough food and medicine to survive. Now this gentleman, Mr. Judy Augmenta, is a fisherman who works on Taiwanese fishing boats. Now for five days he couldn't reach his family members. And only today he was able to talk to his wife and kids on the phone. Were you worried for five days not knowing what happened to your wife and kids? And did you want to get on the first flight back home? I was worried for the past few days because I couldn't contact my family. I kept trying to call my family, but I couldn't get through. I didn't know whether it was because of problems with the signal or phone. But this morning, I got through to my wife, and she told me that she and the kids are okay, but that the roof of our house was blown off. We really thank God we are safe, even though our house has been damaged. Can you tell us, what are your wife and kids eating nowadays? What do they, what do they survive on? When the typhoon came, it not only destroyed our house, but washed out the food we had. I'm very worried about the survival of my family, even though they are now staying with relatives. We were already poor to begin with. So do you hope that these supplies, including baby powder, you know, food, canned food, diapers, can reach your, your wife and kids as soon as possible? I really badly want these supplies to reach our area as soon as possible so it can help the families there. I also hope there are supplies coming from other countries. Thank you very much, and we hope your family is safe and have enough to eat in coming days.